I just want to say, man, Shabbat Shalom to the cons. We did it again. You know, you hear, you hear what a naga, we did it again. You know, whether you acknowledge a, a day of, you know, sovereignty as a tribe, or should I say solidarity and sovereignty, because <laughs> you are the regal ne Negro, you are the naga, just found here. This is India Superior, man. Lest you forget, man. <laughs> yes, yeah, India Superior. You know, um, I'm just thinking about the Shabbat, man. Shabbat Shalom. We did it again. Shabbat is a gift. It's not some toilsome code or law. Keep this law, rest every seventh day so I could jam you up, man. We go through so much. So much grinding, you know. So much chasing dollar, dollar bill. You know, to pay this bill, pay that bill. You know, just imagine what if there was a day where you didn't have to worry about money. I'm just I'm just in the future with this stuff right now, man. Shabbat Shalom. The Shabbat is futuristic. The Shabbat is the nine, is the spiral. The nine is Hawa. It is everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's in, you know, it, it encompasses all. These numbers, you know, you add up all the numbers from one through nine, you got 45, but four plus five is nine. Come on, man. It's everything, man. Uh, any number times nine, it's going to be nine. Eight times nine, 72. Seven plus two is nine. Cold work. Five times nine, 45. Four plus five is nine. Eight. Oh, you know, I said that already. Uh, six times nine. 54 and 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 is special, man. 9 is the Shabbat, and the Shabbat is a gift. Because you're toiling. Imagine a day where you didn't have to, you know, be jammed up with labor. And you can have as a day to remember Hawa. That's the gift Hawa gave us, you know. In the best of times and the worst of times. A gift that, you know, we get. Because we wasn't even supposed to let people that work for us. Servants or, you know. <laughs> they weren't supposed to be working either. You know what I'm saying? Everyone got a break. Hey, we, we falling back today. Rarely do you get an opportunity to remember a while. To meditate on the law is to meditate on being natural by law, <laughs> they have to come. And we are natural. We are the nine, the spiral. The cochlear in your ear bone, the Fibonacci. The Shabbat is natural because resting is natural because to rest together is to breathe together. And the breath is natural by law. They had to incorporate our nature in their religion and then give it back to us and all. We had to go through, dodge all hijacks, and get the babies out the bathwater, my nigga. Rescue the Moshe up out the water. This Shabbat is a gift. It's a gift. To say that you can come together and not worry about monies and all that. And just, just be a family, you know, get... Look your family in the, in the eye bones, you know, and take a collective, wow, you know, have a conversation with a couple cons. You know, it wasn't about, uh, don't be creative this day. You know, you're an artist, paint, you know. <laughs> it's just, it was about doing the toilsome labor that jams you up to where you can't think about the creative. You just, you, know, you stressed out at work trying to meet deadlines. You can't think about Hawaii. And now, Hawaii. It's connecting you with your tribe, with your family, because, you know what I'm saying, you can work on them days, but you ain't home, and you're disconnected from your family, but at least if you had the Shabbat, at least if there was one day a week, whether you want to argue if it's this day, that day, uh, this luminary, that luminary, you know, I'm not going to just get the concept. We're like children when it comes to this stuff. We're like children arguing about these things, man. Hawaii knows we're going to be scrambled around like scrambled eggs, man. We just been cracked upside the head bone. But do you get the concept 
of resting with your family once a week. And imagine if you did it in solidarity as a tribe. It's not religious. That's natural. To think about your great spirit. To think about your source. Your power. It's not religious. It's natural. So, hey, I have to drop the nation, you know, for taking a breath with a noggin. You know, we rest every seven days. Wow. Friday sundowns so when we, you know, we, we crank up to, you know, make sure we can fall back. You know what I'm saying? Everything's cranked up. You know, you, you're working, you, you're popping off, you're doing your work, you, you're making your monies, whatever you got to do in this system, right? And you're cranking up to, you know, getting everything done, but at some point, you know, it's time to rest. That's what you do know. You know, whether you do it perfectly, whether you do it at this hour, exactly when the sun goes down, and that, that's between you and Hawaii. Ain't nobody can judge you on none of that, but to get the concept of rest, it's like a boxer. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to rest at least that minute in between rounds. At least, right? Or if you, you know, throwing your punch, you're going to have to learn how to breathe and control your breath. If you're a wrestler, <laughs> Whatever you're doing, you gotta control your breath. If you're a dancer, if you're a singer, you're performing, you gotta control your breath, man. Even if you're just jogging, you gotta control your breath. You gotta have, you know, a, a dancer's gonna get dizzy if they don't have a focal point. The Shabbat is a focal point once a week with you, mainly with Hawa. You know, that's the strong power going into our house. Then we start driving up and walking. We go through a doorway, a portal, an entrance. And who greets us? Big Mama with the breath. <gasps> and Big Daddy with the security, with the foundation. Wow! That's the dragon. Wow! Mama, Daddy, frame and shape it. Christians call her wisdom. That's your Big Mama. Proverbs chapter 8. I was there. I was the first of his creation. Before the water was flowing. I was there. I'm Big Mama. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm over there, you know, grooving, you know, with Big Daddy, man. You know, this had to pop off before creation popped off. Ain't that natural by law? Ain't that how you do run your house? Ain't that how you run your house? Your house is emulating, reflecting the throne above. Big Mama, which they call wisdom. That's your Ama. That ain't your Mother Earth. That's Ama, man. That's Ama Ama. She ain't just relegated to the earth. She popped off before the earth. Before the water was flowing. <laughs> she delighted Hawa. She delighted Big Daddy. And you the children. You commanded to rest. As a gift. Here's a gift. Just relax, man. Chill. Chill. <laughs> If your boxing coach tell you to chill, all right, all right, man, cool, chill, man, chill, man. You over here popping off. You're like, I'm getting it in, coach. I'm getting it in, coach. Chill. That's a gift. Your instructor, your sensei said, all right, time, that's enough. Get up, man. Enough for the planks, man. That's a gift. Chill. Rest. Hey, go get a water break. Somebody allowed you to get a water break? <laughs> That's a, that's a gift. The Shabbat is the water. Is the nine. Because the water is the nine. The Shabbat is the nine. The first nagas of creation are the spiral or the nine. Hawa is the nine. Hawa is the spiral. Spiral is evident in nature. I am. That's what I am. <laughs> I exist. Existence is what we're talking about. You can't exist without a breath. And every week, you know what I'm saying, after six days of toiling, we take a breath. We don't spend no money. We tribe up in solidarity, showing unity. Because unity is your greatest weapon. Unity is our greatest weapon. How do we show unity? Man, we unify as a tribe. We unify as our families. They can't, you know, hate on that. Oh, you want to be unified with your family uh, this day and just chill? Who could hate on that? Even if you didn't say nothing about Shabbat. 
Hey man, don't call me. Uh, you know, don't don't, don't jam me up. Friday sundown, man. Cause you know, I'm gonna be unified with my family. We gonna chill. We ain't gonna do a bunch of things. We just gonna rest. Find the Zion. You, you creative. It ain't thou. Sh you shall not be creative once a week. Nah, it's chill. Have rest. Complete Zion. Get in your Zion mode. You know what I'm saying? Find your Zion. Can't nobody judge your Zion. How you pop off your Zion. But my Naga, do you get the concept? The Khan gets the concept. And the Khan means priest. The English change it. They flip everything. They change it to pros and cons. Convict. Nah, man, we get the concept. <laughs> we we get the concept, man. You know, we we get the construction, right? The reconstruction, man. Get that reconstruction. Hey, how to the cons, Joseph? And nine spiral, man. Cause we popping off, man. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Get your rest and take your breath. And know that this is a gift. This is a gift. And when you do that, you see that energy flow. That Baruch flow your way. Because you listen. Or I'm a Abab, man, for us to be the head, not to tell. That ain't nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's saying that these natural ones were meant to be the head, not to tell. Our lack of listening. To something as simple as, yo, chill. What happens when you don't chill? Back to boxing. No, I ain't gonna chill, coach. I'm popping off. And then you get gassed out. Then you get your ass knocked out. Because you were slow on your feet. Because you should have rested. <laughs> that one minute of rest, you should have had that. That Shabbat is our one minute. Compared to the other days of popping off. We finally get our rest. If it ain't perfect... Just try it, man. Try to hold yourselves, your family accountable. Say, man, let's just, let's try to really just chill. You know? You want to read a book? I'm going to chill. I'm going to rest. You know? You got children, you know? It's hard not to put work in, right? But at the same point, you get the concept, right? <laughs> just get the concept. Not, oh, he do this. And, you know, those popping off, you know, don't be like, hey, well, she ain't even doing this and she using the, the microwave <laughs> come on man do you get the concept man work man <laughs> chill hey a lot of I'm, I'm just enjoying the zanza I'm popping off in the zanza you know about to listen to some tribal music man go holler at my jiggy salute to the cons man your vibration is everything it's lifting me up it's lifting us up you see, it's lifting the whole tribe up. You see, now it's popping off out of nowhere, but they everywhere. Hey, after all the cons, man, drop nation. That means you got the purified substance. You already are the drop. You got the drop, man. You got that water. Drop nation got that water. A lot of water.